Hello everyone, in this video we'll be taking a look at a classic game, Quake 1, all the way back from 1996. So I'm playing it here in the Dark Places engine, and that's working absolutely fine in Ubuntu in Linux. The Dark Places engine adds some nice new modern effects to the classic game. As you can see we've got some nice fancy effects like the rocket launcher. We've even got some effects like bullet marks on the wall, different lighting on the sky, anti-aliasing. And the game is running at full 1080p resolution, so that's 1920 by 1080. And sorry about the quality of the recording. In fact, I realised it recorded the game better as an actual gameplay rather than the demo gameplay. I'm not sure why. But it's only capturing at like 25 frames a second, whereas the game itself runs at over 400 frames a second on my computer, even with all the effects. Quake 1 is one of my all time favourite games. I'm playing it here on Nightmare difficulty. I don't think there are any other first person shooter games I could play on Nightmare difficulty. For some reason I just got on really well with this. I just love the fast paced action in Quake 1. It's something that you just don't get in any other modern games. The focus nowadays has gone to graphics and effects. Quake 1 was just simple, fast paced, and with a few assortments of enemies. There's quite a few levels. You could do the game 100% properly, take it, or you could do it really fast. There's some examples of where a game has been completed in less than 15 minutes. That's all four episodes on the last level. It's just insane. Can't believe I mucked up this jump. Anyway, we're close enough to complete the level. So that was episode 3, map 6, The Chambers of Torment. Next level we shall take a look at is episode 4, map 2, Towers of Despair. I think it's quite surprising that the game is still around and still played nowadays, maybe 15 years after it was made. I tried the online multiplayer on the Dark Places engine, and there's still a few people playing on one of the servers. Pretty impressive that. Thank <laughs> you. 